Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a block damage system. So if I hit the play button over here, and we get our AI to attack me, and if I'm blocking, it won't do any damage. If I'm not blocking, it's going to do damage to me. And also if I'm blocking but the wrong way, it's going to do damage to me. So um, in today's video, I'll just go over that. And with all that said, let's begin. Before we begin, you're going to need an animation. I highly recommend the sword and shield block idle if you're using a shield, um, it's pretty good. And once again, whenever you're downloading from Mixamo, just go over here to the download button, select 60 frames preferably, and without skin to save some space and simply download. I already have it, so I don't need to. Once you've downloaded your animation and you are back in Unreal Engine, let's go to the content drawer and I want to show you one more thing. We need a shield for our blocking, but if you don't need one, that's fine. I'll link this specific one down below. Also, very important, if you are uh, importing this shield, you drag it and make sure you say a skeletal mesh. Otherwise, uh, what I'm showing you, you won't be able to apply. So um, once you've done that, uh, let's just exit this. We can go into our player. We can go into our skeleton of our character and create a new socket for our shield. So let's just search for left hand and we have it there. Right click on this, add a socket and simply call it whatever suits you. I'm just going to call it left hand underscore item. That's fine for me. And if I search item here, we can find the sword one and the shield one. Over here, I want to right click and add a preview asset, which is going to be skeletal mesh for the shield. That's why you need it to be a skeletal mesh. And in the preview animation, we can actually get our blocking animation. So block idle, or you can even get a different one, which I actually prefer over here. Let me put this to zero and simply just rotate this to the position you want it to be. Okay, once you're happy, let's just save this and we can exit. Then let's go to create an input action so we can actually press a button and block. So I have this over here, input actions, and we will create a input action and call this something like IA underscore blocking. That's pretty descriptive. Uh, save this and let's go to the IMC. Over here, just create a new mapping, select your blocking and then a key that you want. I'll have it on my right mouse button. Just like so, I will save and exit. Then what we can do, let's go to our player and go to Brady. And over here um, in the event graph, what I need to do or what we need to do. First, if you don't have a event any damage, we can make that because we'll be applying damage from the enemy. Event any damage. And simply what you will do is just get your health minus the damage. Um, it's not necessary for the tutorial, but I just want to show you the damage system working. We will clamp this and of course our max value will go here. Then for the return value, I will just set my health and that's the event damage. Then on top of this, we will just apply the blocking system. So I'll, I'll leave it there, not comment it just yet. And then let's create a function and this will be our function that will check is the enemy attacking in the front or from behind or wherever. Inside of here, we want to select this function and create an input. Inside of this, put something like enemy or actor to check whatever suits you. And then for the type, just get a actor and you want this to be a object reference just like that. Then from here drag and get actor location then also select your cap capsule component of your character and we want to get world location then for from here again we want to do get forward vector and these two guys we are actually going to minus them so subtract from here and from this we want to normalize also, I should say one of my good friends for Foxy showed me 
how to do the mats for this. So thank you very much for that. And um, then from this guy, what we want, we want to get a dot. And this is a dot product. I'm not exactly entirely sure what it does, but let's plug it into here, then this into here. And then let's get a cos d degrees. Then here you can select this value to be whatever you want. Essentially, the lower the value, the less um, the less area to block, and the higher the value, the the more area to block. So if you put it on zero, essentially he won't block at all. It'll hit you from every angle. So I had mine on sixty, and I think that's relatively okay. Anything more is just a little bit extra. And then from here, right click, do a return value, at or return node. And then this will just go into the there and we can plug that into here. So that's our function to check if the actor is in front done. So let's compile and save this. We can exit off this and back inside of our event graph. What we can do actually, we can begin with our input action. So let's do IA underscore blocking. Then from here, I will do on started. We can do play montage. And the montage we want to play, which I never actually, oh no, I do have it. Uh, it should be here, yeah. So, by the way, if you did import your animation, just make it a montage. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to select it here. Then for the skeletal mesh, uh, just get your mesh, add it into there, just like so. And then we can do also, if we get our character movement, we can do disable movement I don't want to be able to move while I'm blocking just like so and then at the very end I want to add a boolean value which is going to be is blocking so this of course is going to set this value to be true because we are blocking and then from completed what we can do is stop montage or and montage and we are going to be stopping the blocking montage and then at the very end get your character movement once more and just set movement mode to walking there we go otherwise your player won't be able to move and once again the this value is going to be set to false this actually should be true and this is false over here so yeah um that's for the animation and then over here what we can do let's get our function so I never actually called it anything. That's my bad, guys. Let me call it actor to check. That should be fine. Actor to check or check in front. And that's just a description. What am I doing? Uh, how do I rename this? Right click. There we go. So actor to check. There we go. So we will select this and put it over here. And the actor to check, we will check the damage causer that will go over here let me just make this over here and then let's get two branches let's get a sequence and this will go here and this will go here so over here we are checking this and if it is uh, not true we want to take if it is true then we don't want to take any damage damage so we will go to false and same with this, it'll go to false, because if blocking is true, we don't want to take any damage. But for the condition, just don't forget to get it, plug it in there. And now if I'm blocking, I shouldn't take any damage. So let me just compile. And we also want to add the shield. So I'll show you that in one moment. Let's just see if this works. So, hello, sir. You want to hit me there? So if we're blocking from the front, perfect, no damage. If I'm blocking from the back, yeah, so he's taking damage. So now let's just add the shield, which is very easy. Simply go to your viewport and go to your character. You want to add a skeletal mesh, just like so, and call this shield or whatever you find descriptive. And we want to drag this under our character mesh. Then go over here for the parent socket. You just want to select uh, whatever socket you made. So we made the left hand item. And if you reset the spins, and then for the skeletal mesh, you select the shield. Uh, you should be ready to go. So let's compile and save and see how this looks.
So if we block, da -da -da, no damage. If I block from this angle, should also be no damage. Well, I stopped blocking there. Uh, damage there because we're on the side. Damage from the back. There we go and again if i get hit from the front we don't take any damage so guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the tutorial leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing